All right, guys, I decided to try something in the Stinger, and the manual says in the emergency you can run 87. So, what I'm gonna try is running 87 on a road trip and see how much it affects the gas mileage. Um, I'm about to do about 300 to 400 miles for this trip, and I'm gonna fill up. I'm at about a quarter tank on premium, and I'm gonna drive the whole way doing about 70 to 75. And I'm gonna have it in eco mode, and I'm gonna see what kind of gas mileage I get. And then on my way back, hopefully, I hope the temperature don't, don't scare it as much, since I'll probably be leaving in the daytime when I come back. I'm gonna come back on premium and see does it change, or drop, or improve. Just want to check back in with y'all, as y'all can see. Um, just shy of five hours of driving, and I've averaged 27 miles to the gallon. And I actually did 80 the whole way, and it's been an eco mode. Um, I've sped up to 85 a few times to get out the way. Or and or go ahead and pass somebody so I didn't hold up another person. And I actually got up to a hundred one time, but neither none of that has seemed to affect gas mileage much since I kept it very very short when I did and left it on cruise control and let it come back down and never brought it down myself. I accelerate, get to um get to where I was going to get past somebody and over. Eh. Uh, excuse me, and that would be it. Now come right back down, and um, I decided to go ahead and just push it to see could I get 400 miles out of the tank, being very conservative on throttle. So here's to it. My exit is coming up in a little while, so hopefully I can get to that and make my goal of 400 to the tank. All right, guys, I made it to my destination. According to the car, I have 12 miles. So if I added 12 miles to 88, that'd be 400 miles to the tank. How close to empty I would be, I don't know, since I don't know um, how many more miles we have past E. I've driven the car below E before. I think I had about seven miles to where I went maybe less I'm not quite sure but um, I know it's some mileage left after the um, range goes to zero and the um, bar touches E but, um, just want to do this little quick video to show that we could possibly do 400 to the tank if you kept it in eco mode and did about 80 even though I originally said 70 to 75 I did about 80 the whole way Stayed in cruise control. I um, think what helped me out a lot was the um, highway that I was on, 75 South. Got really, 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 really flat. Very few hills. Um, temperature change, I don't think that hurt anything. Because it went from about 74 degrees when I originally left out up to 85. And it's only like 10 a.m. in the morning down here in florida but other than that i think it's possible that we can we can do the 400 on the tank very close but you can do it you back over there all right guys just went to the gas station to fill up and i use 14.8 gallons the world's largest solar system bottle the bottle spans 40 miles along route one Mm. Each mile equals the distance well, 15 gallon tank. I don't think I would have made it if I had so, went to zero. Where do you maybe, where maybe not. Next? According to the range, last time I went to zero, I think I drove another five to seven miles. And I was able to squeeze some more in, so I got 15 gallons in. Today. 
so the tank is should be completely completely full all right guys that'll be it so now we know with um pretty conservative driving cruise control and decent roads should be able to get right at 400 through the tank and just enough room to get to the gas station if it's within a mile or two okay guys I'm about to head back so this time heading back I'm going to fill up on 93 like I'm suggested to run with the car I'm gonna set the same um, settings I'm gonna do eco mode and I'm gonna ride it 80 miles per hour if possible for the however long I can without being just you know without being disturbed hopefully I can do that it's a Sunday morning so I should be able to relatively easy but I don't know all right guys checking back in with y'all uh, for the trip back it was horrible I couldn't keep a consistent speed due to traffic people jumping in front of me all type of stuff was going on um, I was trying to keep it 80 but a lot of times and I know for like the last hour or so I end up at about 85 most of the time but um it didn't affect gas mileage much but uh yeah I easily easily did 400 miles to the gallon this time filling up on premium versus 87 when I went down in optimal conditions without having to slow down or speed up anything too much let me show y'all that Uh, that was a that was a pretty easy one uh if you don't have to i would say don't don't put 87 in unless that's just the only thing now that they have or they ran out uh i know sometimes my personal gas station i like they'll run out of premium sometimes and or and mid-grade which is 89 for us so sometimes I get pushed to use 87 because I don't really like using other gas stations. I try to keep it consistent. So if something happens gas wise, I can pinpoint it down. But um, that's all for now. Thank y'all for tuning in.